<clears throat> the third word. John chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. Near the cross stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, the disciple took her into his home. In John 1, we read, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And as believers born spiritually, we are born into a spiritual family. And so when Jesus left his disciples behind, left his mother behind. He did not leave them orphans. No, they had become a family. And so the woman became the mother, and the disciple became the son, and they looked after each other as a family. Thank the Lord for the family of God, for his church, the bride of Christ, that we may be a part of and have mutual care for one another. Our response comes from Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 6. But he was pierced for our transgressions. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, 